Here we go. Our top 10 third baseman heading into the 2023 MLB season. Jam, I'm pretty excited for this one because the top of this list is uh pretty it's pretty good. Yeah, it's interesting. And I think that this list, um, out of all the positions, is certainly one of them where you're gonna see possibly some differences between us. Um you think? at the top. Yeah, I just think I think the top five, you know, I I I think that. There's pretty clearly four and five, but then I think when you get to that top three, I think they're they're they could be a little interchangeable. So I'm I'm interested to see where we defer or if we have some similarities there. All right, you want to start us off? Yeah. So um number 10, the new signing of the Boston Red Sox. I have Justin Turner. Uh number nine. Making an appearance back on this list after being off for a couple of years, probably. Uh Eugenio Suarez. Number eight, the 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 one of the best on base men in baseball, Yandy Diaz. Number seven, first year in Toronto, very very good second half, Matt Chapman. Number six, another guy making his way back up this list, Alex Bregman. Number five, this is you know now we're in the the the, the superstar territory. Um, number five, Rafael Devers. Number four, Austin Riley. Number three, Nolan Arenado. Number two, Manny Machado, and okay. number one, Jose Ramirez. All right. I'm happy you said that because it was getting really eerily similar there. Um yeah. What I uh I have a couple of differences, but not too many major ones. Um, let me ask you why Ramirez over Machado. So it was close. It was definitely close. I just went with the more consistent guy. Um, when you look at Ramirez over the last two years, if you go if you go on Fangraphs and you look at the F WAR leaders from 2021 to 2022, he is the leader in F WAR. He's had back to back six WAR seasons. He's been a phenomenally consistent player over the course of his career. Still is one of the most underrated players in baseball. Um, he's put up MVP type numbers in his career. He's had an eight WAR season. Uh, he's only 30 now. He's only in his age 30 season. So pretty crazy to think that he's still in the heart of his prime. Um, Machado is the better defender. Um, but I think Ramirez is the more consistent bat. And Ramirez adds some other things to his game. Like he's one of the best uh, guys at stolen bases in the game. And you you don't see that, especially for third baseman. So his versatility there. Um, it was close. It was really close. And And if you have Machado over Ramirez, I have no problem with it. I'm just kind of uh, betting that Ramirez is the better guy based off the last two years compared to just one year. All righty. Um, Chapman over Diaz is our other difference. Uh, why that? Okay. Um, Chapman, to me, I mean, I think he's one of the best defenders on this list. And um, more pop out of his bat, a bigger power hitter. Now... He is a little more um, inconsistent, I would say, with the bat. But, I don't know, I, I think I just prefer him as a player compared to Diaz. And I like a lot of things about Diaz's game. 296 last year average with the 401 on bases. Phenomenal. Yeah. But just a lot more pop out of Chapman. I think that's important at this position. How far, because I have Riley in the same spot as you, and I'll give my list in a second. How, like, close is Riley to the top of this list? Because I think... We've talked about him. He can have one of those years where he hits 45 home runs and is an MVP candidate for the MVP in the NL. And he can very easily be number one on this list next year. Do you think it's close? Yeah, I think I think he could get as high as as one, you know, because um, he's still extremely young. He seems to be getting better every year. Um, And defense is important. And Riley isn't one of the best defenders on this list, but. You know, I have Jose Ramirez one, and Manny Machado is a better defender than him, and Nolan Arenado is a better defender than him. So you can get to the top of this list with your bat, and I think Riley does have one of those special bats where he could, like you said, I think Riley, the sky's the limit for this guy. I think he could have a 1,000 OPS type of season one day where he's just hitting 45 home runs, like you said, and and he's just a menace at the plate. And he already is one of the best hitters on this list. Yeah, I mean, I hope he doesn't ever get that, but um, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll give my top 10 quick. Number 10, Brandon Drury. Number 9, Enginio Suarez. How do you say his name? It's a very confusing name. Number 8, Matt Chapman. Number 7, Andy Diaz. Number 6, Alex Bregman. 
Number five, Rafael Devers. Number four, Austin Riley. Number three, Nolan Arenado. Number two, Jose Ramirez. Number one, Manny Machado. Um, do you think Arenado's getting a little disrespected here from us? No, I really? don't because... think so. I don't think so. I mean, like, to me, when I look at this list, that three, one through three is like tier A. Like, I think that those guys are all – you know, we talk about it in football with, you know, Herbert and Allen and Burrow, how they're kind of, you know, they could be interchangeable and stuff like that. I think it's like that. I think that no matter how you rank these guys, you know, I, I could have Ramirez three and Arenado one, and I don't think anybody should be saying what kind of list is that. I think they're, they're the, all three of those guys are MVP candidates. They're, they're generational players. They're, they're, they're great for their team. And yeah, I, I, I think that that's no disrespect to Arenado. Yeah, Jose Ramirez came in fourth last year in MVP voting. Machado, two. Arenado, three. And what's funny is Machado, um, I mean, excuse me, Arenado was like kind of ahead of Machado all year long. You know, Arenado's having this great season and kind of uh, Machado just jumped them a little bit toward the end. Obviously, Goldschmidt won the award, but Machado jumped them, and I think people were a little bit surprised about that toward the end of the year. But, um, yeah, I got Machado on. I've always been a big Manny guy. Reminds me of like Robbie Cano. That like, uh, that makes no sense. Like flat, he... like flashy, easy like second going. baseman, left-handed hitter. No, but like you know Whoa. what I mean. Like if you gave me the right-handed version of Robbie Cano, like nice, sweet swing, easy going. Can get into it with a teammate. Yeah, like that's, <laughs> you know that that's that's Manny Machado that, that, for right. me. Yeah, no, he's gonna get paid. Yeah, after, yeah, he's gonna get a lot of money. And he could get, he could probably get more signing the extension. I think right now with the Padres, and he you would. Think? I don't know, maybe he would get more on the open market, but Who it'd knows? be close. Who knows? Um, I don't mention Eduardo Escobar on this list. Uh, uh, probably no, had the no. greatest um, September from a third baseman ever last no, year. So no. shout out to him. No, he no. actually did. No, he actually had one of the highest OPSs ever in the month of September last year. So that makes him an honorable mention. Yeah, he's an honorable mention on this list. Hundred percent, dead serious. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we'll see some new faces on this list too, like Josh Donaldson next year. And no, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, hopefully no. playing enough games for the Yankees. Yeah. There. No, we'll see. IKF. Right. Yeah, playing enough games third, for their base yeah. for sure. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's safe to say we're pretty pumped for uh baseball season. What is next? Are we going to do the dreaded position of, that is left field? Yeah, I think we got to go there. God. I can't center- believe the turmoil on that position. Like, Tyler O'Neill was one, and I don't think he's even going to be on the list now. Yeah, we're going to have a – it's going to be – it's going to get interesting there. Yeah. Um, And it's center field. not even that great either. No, nah, center field's good. Get, what do you got? You got four guys off the yeah. top of my head. I don't know. Nemo, Buxton. Uh, all right, five guys. Ramirez – I mean, uh, Rodriguez. Is Reynolds the center fielder or no? Uh, yeah, Reynolds center fielder. Okay, so five guys. Yeah. I don't know. No, no. Jazz. Possibly. <laughs> he's not on this list. Cover of the show, boy. He's not he's not on the list. I will I will say that right now. He's not on the okay, list. We'll see. All right. That'll do it. Thanks for watching.